this is another game that was a tie game going into the third period where your team carried play for long stretches of the third period. Where did it come up short? Well, we made a mistake, um, you know, in the D zone coverage. We had, uh, you know, the third goal, we had puck possession. Um, couldn't get the puck out, and then we lost, missed an assignment down low uh, where, you know, we just, you know, for a split second, we just weren't in the right spot. And they made a play towards the net, and they scored. Um, you know, you know the fourth goal, uh, we caught puck watching. Uh, we had one defenseman up in the play, and, and we had a forward back puck watching, and he's got to stay back and replace, the, you know, wait for the defenseman to come back into play. And they, they made a play and breakaway and scored. But other than that, you know, for a couple, for the most part of this game, not most part, almost all of it, we were good. We, we created offense. We just couldn't score. We're, we're creating opportunities to score. We just, we're just not finishing right now. And uh, it, it's frustrating. That group is frustrated because they're working hard. They're, you know, we're playing uh, for the most part the right ways. And you're going to make mistakes at times like that. But right now our mistakes are costing us and we're getting scored on. And, and how hard we're working also on top of that is that we're just not getting rewarded for it. We're doing a lot of, a lot of good things. We're not getting dominated by any means at all. We're, we're playing pretty, pretty good hockey. Does it put extra strain on, on the defensive side of the puck when they're scoring troubles? Do they feel like they need to play perfect? Certainly. When you're not scoring, you're going to have to play perfect defense, and that's impossible. So we need to find some way of generating off more offense. And uh, we've looked at everything. And one thing we did, to, again, one thing we always go back to, if you're not scoring, you you got to put more people towards the net. you got to more pucks on the net, and you got to hunt those rebounds and re-attack. And that's something, a message that we've always said all year. But when the things over the last couple of games were not scoring more than two goals, we got to reinforce that. We did it tonight again, and we created a lot of opportunities off that. We just just not finishing that last part we're not finishing if we didn't have any chances at all uh, I would really be concerned um, uh, am I concerned that we're not finishing I certainly am but you know at least those chances are there and we got to continue to keep you know working at it working at it and, and then hopefully we'll be able to finish those those uh, that last bit to, to score goals we often talk about the power play as kind of a momentum yeah. builder but the one in the third period weren't able to get a lot of chances on it. Do you think that was a momentum builder for them on the penalty kill leading into the last 10 minutes of that game? Yeah, it certainly is, uh, but I also thought it built momentum for us earlier in the game also too. It's going to happen. You're not going to score every time, and we scored a big goal, and we had some good looks also in the third period on, on the power play. There was a couple shots that were there that if we just jump on those rebounds, you know, if we score, it's completely different. But um, as far as us going down momentum-wise, it, 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 uh, it didn't make a difference. The game was right there. We were playing. There wasn't a swing of momentum till they scored that third goal you know we just all of a sudden out of nowhere they scored and uh, there was a couple breakdowns and, and they put the puck in the back of the net that that for me was a momentum killer but up until then I wasn't concerned about it at all I thought we were in a really good spot I want to ask also about Daniel Miramanov obviously coming in he had goals in five of the last six how important is it to have a guy on the back end like that contributing offensively when you have guys up front that are maybe a little snake bitten and just can't find a way to get the puck in the net well, you know, it's very seldom a, a, a guy in the back end drives our offense, but he is for us right now. And uh, we're hopefully that he's, you know, instead of him driving the, our offense, he's complimentary to our offense. But he's, uh, he's, you know, since he's been back from his injury, it took him a little bit while to kind of get his feet underneath him and kind of get that extra jump or that stride that he has. And he's got it. Like he's back, and he's been really good for us uh, in a lot of offensively in a lot of ways here. And uh, part of his game is still developing as how to defend too. But um, I, I really like the way his game is is, is rounding out right now. Coach scoring goals is obviously hard, or everyone would do it. But if yeah. your method of play is creating the chances you want, and you're not finding that finish, do you do you have to go to the some of the players who have more of that natural finishing ability to to ask them to to be the ones to break through? Yeah, I, I do. Like, like I agree with you, Brian. You can't. The hardest thing you can do, uh, or the hardest thing to do in hockey, is scoring goals. Or like you said, everybody else would be scoring 40, 50 goals a year. But there's certain areas you need to go to uh, if you want to score goals. 
you know, there's a very few that are going to be able to score from outside the dots in the, in the offensive zone. So you've got to go to those areas. And uh, our system in place is what we do is we, we will produce shots. Um, it's kind of like on a power play, five on fives. If you want to break down five on five, you've got to put uh, uh, pucks to the net. You've got to have people in front, and then you've got to have be in position to retrieve those pucks. And then, again, uh, once you retrieve them, you've got to reattack as quick as possible. And that's how you end up scoring goals here, just by, by almost a domino effect. You shoot the puck, you'll get it back again. And uh, we're doing it. We're putting enough puck, the pucks in net. We're shooting enough pucks during the game at the net. We're just not, it's not finishing right now. Um, to answer your question, yeah, we need not just our, our, our go-to guys as far as goal scorers. We need everybody to contribute in some capacity.